everyone, it's Donna from Hollywood, California. It's not just paint, it's art by Donna. And today I'm doing a challenge from the Little Pouring Art family. Um, and that challenge was, um, you had to pick one color, um, blue, green, red, or yellow. Um, and of course, you know I picked green because that is my favorite color. And you had to uh, pick three shades of green. So I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. I have six shades of green and I'm gonna pick three of them as I do this um, because I'm gonna do another pour after this for myself. Um, so I have, uh, we have three shades of green that we're gonna use. Um, you can do it on a black or a white background. Um, I did choose a white background, um, gold or silver, and I did choose to use gold. And I have, um, I will go through the colors with you. And it's a Dutch pour. And it had to be done on a square canvas. So here is my square canvas. Um, so I'm happy uh, to be doing this. Um, it's due on, it's not due until April. But I'm going to do it now because you can do it and, and put it up. So I figured, uh, why not? Why not do that now? Um, I like to uh, have my stuff done in advance. The older I get, the, uh, the more I like to be ready and prepared. So, um... We do have our parade coming up also next week um, for, uh, for St. Patty's Day. So here is my white canvas and I'm gonna do a Dutch pour. So I have to pick out three of these colors. Um, so I'm gonna pick my, um, I have a Liquitex soft body and this is um, a vivid lime green. So I'm going to pick this one, beautiful, beautiful color. And if I remember correctly, I may have put a drop or two of the Liquitex iridescent gold um, into that green. Um, I think I did. Yeah, so we have this, so I'm going to put that on the side. And then I'm gonna choose a, um, I guess I should get a mid color. Maybe I'll use this um, uh, Liquitex light green permanent. That looks like a nice color to use. That light green permanent. Beautiful color. I think any any shade of green is beautiful. And last but not least, I don't know, it's between the phthalo blue. Well, I played around with this um, phthalo green, actually. So this is a phthalo green, and that's mixed with a little of the metallic black from Color Shot. And then I added um, a few drops of Liquitex, um, Liquitex Deep Violet Purple. Um, yeah, Deep Violet ink, um, acrylic ink that is. And it gave me this gorgeous, gorgeous color. So um, yeah, so let's, let's put this in with our mix. So those are the three greens that I'm gonna use. And um, and here's my gold, and it is Arteza Aztec Gold. Um, and in that, I did mix um, a drop, well not a drop, I probably put about a half a dropper filled of the Iridescent Bright Gold ink um, from Liquitex. So this is the, um, This is the gold that I'm gonna be using today. So now you have all my colors. And um, I'll put 
that on the side here. So I was thinking, um, being that I'm going all green here, might as well go a little St. Pat Patty's Day. And I'm gonna see how that would work out if I can uh, try and do a little St. Patty's pour here. So I'm gonna try right here. Alright, so all experimentation with me because I'm not doing this for years like everybody else. So let's try, um, okay, there's one. Leaf clover. Alright. Put a little of this green on top of that. It's pretty together. green beautiful color all right I'm gonna get these greens out of the way I do not want once I take that blow dryer out I do not want any mishaps going on so here's my gold And we don't want that gold overpowering, so I'm just going to put a little drop, if I can, on each of these. And over here. And, okay, so those are the three I used, and these are the other three that I'm going to move out of the way. I have to put these over here. Here is my white, my extra white. And yeah, let's pull that around. Let's pull that around here. Okay. Put that here.
messed it up right here. I can't believe I did that. I put the whole blow dryer in. Um, I had to go in for that one more time, but I think I can fix this. Um, I think I can fix that one up. With the, maybe with the straw. I love the lacing here, and this lacing is absolutely gorgeous. That's what I could do over here. Okay, I think this is good. Um, beautiful Dutch pour, four leaf clovers. Um, I really love the way it came out. I got all these beautiful um, cells. This is just plain artist loft. Um, I'm really, um, I'm amazed. And, um, at what I got here yeah absolutely beautiful um, I'll bring you in for a close-up good idea those little clovers in there 
for some luck. But um, I do love the way this came out. I hope you do too. Please give me a thumbs up. And um, thank you, uh, Little Pouring Art Family, for the challenge. I really enjoyed it. Have a great day, everyone. Be safe out there. Thank you. Bye-bye now.